judges who will be scoring the fight. Okay, Jim, I got a 117-111, nine rounds to three, Tevin Farmer. I just thought Tevin Farmer outboxed him. I tell you, I thought it was all Tevin Farmer. He boxed beautifully. Ray Flores stands by now with the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone 12 championship rounds, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. Tim Cheatham has the bout 116-112 for Farmer. Bert Clements scores the bout 116-112 for Ogawa. And Judge Max DeLuca scores the contest 115 to 113 for your winner by split decision. And the new IBF Super Featherweight Champion, Kanichi Ogawa! Heartbreaking, bro. Like, that's it. I was like, holy, bro. Like, like, leading up to the fight, I never imagined myself not coming home with the belt. Like, never imagined. So, you know how you told me you were sparring, right. like, years ago? Right. And you got tired and you feel like, like you couldn't breathe? Right. That, that's the same feeling I had. Yeah. Same feeling I had. I had the same feeling. I just don't want to feel how I felt when I got robbed back December 9th against Ogawa in Vegas. I don't want I don't, I don't want to feel that feeling no more. Why did I think I got robbed? I didn't think I got robbed. I knew I got robbed. The world knew it, so they're going to kill right here. But it is what it is. Like I said before, I'm gonna bounce back. In, in every situation in your life, I'm gonna bounce back. told us honestly we was not allowed to be in the ring sparring not fighting sparring at least a year from the injury five months from two injuries bicep was torn then shot in the same hand five months from both injuries we fighting Ogawa a very aggressive strong fighter it shows you the will and the determination that that young man Tevin Farmer has All right here is better than yesterday and better than the days before. So, I mean, it's progressing and I know it's, it's going to take time. Um, I massage his hand at least three days um, out of the week. And then my partner, Nick, he massages us every day, six days a week here at the gym to make sure that it's nice and loose, it's not tight before we start even any kind of workout with him. Oh, 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 oh,
Tommy Nick, has his power changed at all or is it still the same? Oh, yeah. Snapping that. Bro, it's all mental. For me. Snapping that. Now, uh, mentally, before it was like, all right. Believe in that hand, boy. Before it was like, believe in that hand. We're going to beat you, box, box. Woo! Even if somebody hurt my mind, it was never to hurt him. Right. Not saying that it wasn't. Right. But it was never like, but now that it is. That wasn't your intention. Now it is. Okay. Like, I just hurt, though. Hurt game. Hurt game. And the more comfortable you're with the hands, the more you can get in your right. Where do we get a shot? Here we are, then. Should I get a date? Yeah. I want to move. Oh, oh. Once I get the shot, I'm going to kiss on the hand. So make sure you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put it there. I've been waiting for a while for this title shot. I thought I was going to be back in the ring by like April or May, but we're looking like June or July. Last night they announced that me and Billy did fight for it, so right now I'm going to prepare myself to get ready for camp. Oh, 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 oh. He's slipping. Hey, oh, oh, oh. he's slipping. Oh, oh. His mind is something that I admire. I'm 50 years old, and I've been around for a long time. We're good fighters, um, and I have a lot of good fighters. But he is the perfect example of what I believe all fighters should be. His mindset is something really, really special. We're talking about somebody who, in one time, nobody ever thought Tevin Farmer was going to be who he is today. In my opinion, I think he's one of the best 130 pounders. And I'm not saying because I train him. It, it could have been, you know, Fred Rhodes, Robert Garcia. Yeah, I mean, it could have been, you know, any other trainer. I would have saw Tevin, I would have been like, that's a bad boy, you know, um, because he earned my respect. Not as a trainer, he earned my respect as a trainer. Bro, this is the thing about you, right? You're going to keep pushing you further and further in life, right? You don't quit. Right? And your hunger has changed now. It's gotten different. Since so they're Yeah, I think you got, I think now, bro, I think your finishing is what's going to, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm telling you, it's yeah, going it's going to get crazy. You're finishing us with that carried over. That's why I asked Nick when I asked him today. I said his, his power is different. He said, hell yeah, he's popping that joint now. Bro, now I, I got though, a bro. different, you can? Yeah, I can. Look, you can look at somebody and you can tell when they got some pop and they punch right. when they hit the pad. Yeah. Period. You can look at it and tell, right? And I can see it. Yeah, yes, they did. I said, yo, man, tell the fucking left hand and strong now, shit. Yeah, now if, if, you, if I hurt you, you gone. I mean, I'm at a whole, my mindset is just different. I'm ready to go in there and get the belt. You think that that's why? You gotta be great again, over and over and over again. It's who, it asked who got next in boxing. So it's a lot of your team. Look at, look at the young boy from Philly, Tevin Farmer. They sleeping on him. He reinvented his own career. He gets crazy like, y'all crazy. You better watch out for Tevin. He can do it all. That's my boy right there. Yeah. Trying to tell you, bro. There's no greetings when they see it, man. I'm coming. Here. Just being prepared mentally and physically to go in there and be the best I could be. I don't want to get robbed no more, so, you know, everything is killer season for me. You like my glasses? You like my glasses? Tell me you like my glasses. We're on chance, we're on slow chance. It's like my... It's like my 11 a week. 11 a week in training. Next week it'll be 12, and the fight week will be 13. Doodle. Bitty Dado. Who the hell is Bitty Dado? I want to be Bitty Dado. I'm ready to go, man. It's been a long, hard training camp. Training camp been nothing but success. Worked hard, and now it's time to go get the belt. That was one of the reasons why I really wanted to go. I never went to Australia. And I mean, it's gonna be a great experience. I'm not worried about whether the fight is in Australia or whether it's in Philly. You know? The judges are gonna pick what they want to pick regardless. Whether, you know, wherever it's gonna be at, they're gonna pick what they want to pick. I was in my own backyard in, in, in the US and it still got robbed. So it, it really don't make a difference. I gotta go out there and win the fight. That's what I gotta do. I gotta go win the fight and there's nothing to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit. It's a mystery. I want these little cheese girls. You only just keep looking at them. Yeah, I'm already gonna wait, so I can pretty much eat whatever I want. I still try to not go crazy, but it's not about weight. It's about how your body feels. Tevin is a perfect example of 
the stick to it the, the unwillingness to quit despite all the obstacles that have been in this way. So what's different from this time training from last time? I, different, I different training. <laughs> Well, the hand problem, and then he wasn't doing so much legs. Like this, all he worked on was legs. So legs, right? Yeah, that's where all your strength comes from. Your legs. You lose your legs, you don't got nothing. No matter how much your hands, you once your legs go from under you, you lose your brain. You don't have nothing. The hand, nigga, my hand was hurting. And one of the young boys that he fought from North Jersey, they was like, from looking at it, you know, being out the ring, and then finally getting in the ring, he was like, yo, you can hit. His chain was all busted up. He had nose all busted up. And why you think that young man like that, Ted? <laughs> no, he just won't come out that W. No, that's not. I'm tired of crying. <laughs> Yeah, we all cried. Last fight. Yeah. <laughs> got cried. Got shot in his head. Turned bicep. Ain't no one lost. Is that right? I think I hurt more than that. I think we always hurt more. Who I wanna ask? Who you put first? <laughs> you know, I know. How you? Who you put first? Boxing or us? Oh. <laughs> I don't like. I don't love boxing that much. <laughs> you like your family more? I don't let y'all need one. <laughs> <laughs> I know for real. The fight will come on early in the morning. Oh, it is going to be in the morning. I should have told him before y'all in the morning. I'll be out. Honestly, this is something he always dreamed of, and he just making it come true. I'm going to go over that. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You ready? You ready? Everything he told me that he was going to do in life. He yeah. always make come true. And that's the only thing. I don't know how. I guess God is on his side. And hard work pay off. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's what? He's still doing it. And he's still young. So it is what it is. Peace. He talking about we can both go until, until we can't breathe no more. All right, Val. Fuck it up, Billy did. And then after, I'll give you his friend because I like Billy did. He's a good, he's a great guy. Not now. Bye bye. The road to the world title. Okay. I can put these motherfucking miles in. Right now it's Sunday over here in Australia, back home in Philadelphia, or US should I say, is nighttime in the Saturday. But I feel like I'm putting these miles in. I see that I got the box on. You lose the day to win the belt. How do you like that? We got to come to Australia and get our own keys. See how we do. The waist a little, they they ain't shaped, but we wait for a boy, the job. Anna, we ready. Last run for the camp. And we ready. Yeah, yeah. You know I gotta listen to my slow jam not running. Let's see what's on next. I hope it's Billy Lado. Come to me. Farmer hits the scales. One, two, nine point six. I wish everybody the best, but um, just having a former time. And, um, we're going to we, we gonna take it to the top, all the way to the top. Like, we're going to do it big. We're going to do it big. So World Championship Boxing does return now to Sydney for the first time since 2013. Sydney's own Billy the Kid did. He's a big underdog, but he goes into this fight 
against Tevin Farmer with a whole lot of emotion and with a huge crowd in Sydney right behind him. Thanks for joining us wherever you are watching right around the world. We're live on ESPN Plus, on Box Nation in the UK and of course on Fox Sports in Australia. Ben Damon here alongside Garth Wood and it is Billy Dibb who takes him out with the black trunks and Tevin Farmer, he is the slippery southpaw in the white trunks. The American is at the moment measuring up on that right hand and remember it is that right hand of Tevin Farmer which took a bullet just one year and four days ago. He's recovered, he's had a world title fight since then, he was robbed back in America. Now he gets another shot, but Billy Dibb, he's been there and done that before. He's won a world title. He's lost them too. And three of the four losses of Billy Dibb's career have come against Southpaws. But maybe this is a different Billy Dibb under the tutelage of Jeff Fennick. Well, I think that's what he's got to do, Billy. He's got to turn the clock back 10 years. We're going to see the fire that got him to the top. And obviously he's got Fennick in his corner. He's got to produce some of Fennick's ability. Yeah, so Jeff Fennick trying to keep Billy Dibb on message there. Pressure. Get in tight and work to the body and finish upstairs. That's what they want from Billy Dibb. And he goes out in round two like he means it. And they tangle the arms on the other side to the referee holding. And now Ignatius Missalides gets in and breaks them up. And threatening to get a little rough on the inside. Some words exchanged too between Farmer and dip he looks much better at range he was looking good when he could fire that left hand at will and there it is again from farmer he goes one two with it now jabs good shot there from tevin farmer farmer mixing it up inside farmer picks his shots nicely there's another slick power shot from farmer a nice right hand now from Farmer. And a left hand and a left hand to the body. Good moments for the American. Farmer backs up. Ooh. Tries to time an uppercut. And there's a shot which nearly took our referee down. <laughs> the referee doesn't like the tactics of Billy Dib. And the crowd don't like the fact that Billy Dib isn't having things his own way. And that's oh, what gave. That was the chin of Dib Farmer. off a big shot from Tevin Farmer. Now he's going to have to work very hard with 20 seconds remaining here in round number nine. Tees up on the left hand, does Farmer. Dib against the ropes. The towel is in the hand of Jeff Fennick. But there's only eight seconds remaining. Can Billy Dib get his way? out of this round he ties up and holds on and the bell comes to save him the IBF world super featherweight title belt being contested here in Sydney Billy Dibb and Tevin Farmer it's been bloody it's been brutal it hasn't been pretty but gee it's been a tough fight Carl Zapier scored the fight 118-109. Levi Martinez scored the fight 119-108. Ian Scott scored the fight 120-107. All by and out of the red corner and the new super featherweight champion of the world, Kevin, the American Idol. Without this dedication, 
Um, the job for the coaches has been very difficult. We put the time, he put the hard work to get us a team. Um, what's more impressive is that our first world champion, we went to China. The second one, we went to Australia. We did that shit all the way across the world. Not halfway across the world, all the way across the world. Bring that title back, baby. World champions. Baby, world champions. Yes, we got that. This is what we, this what we left. This what we left when we came back with. <laughs> We get our cheese steaks from here. Hey, 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 the first place, the, the first place I stopped at off of Australia flight is the Poppies. I got a cheese steak, man. My favorite store in the city. Bye. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Don't talk about chilling. What's up with you? Uh, 
How you doing, man? Yeah, that joint. Right? Shit. Yeah. I do want that joint on my shoulder for a minute. I, I can see why they don't wear around their waist. That shit heavy, man. Yeah. You ordered? Okay, nah, I'm going to eat. We on Berk Street. You recording this? We on Berk Street. We all love our Talk to him, man. Tell him what it is. Berk Street, man. Tell him what it is, man. It's all love our hands. It's all. The lady right here taught me. You did. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. How you feeling? That's my mom. This is where it started at, man. Berk Street. We was all kids and thug, man. This is where it started from. My man always said he was gonna be a boxer. He was gonna knock somebody out, and he knocked somebody out. You mean? Huh? Yo, rest in peace to my one of my best friends, man. Right on the right on the day he got the tape, man. Crack, you know how it is, crack, yo, crack. How you doing, man? Tell me where we at, Greg. Tell me where we at, man. Oh, you know where we at, man. Tell me where we at, man. We on 20th, man. What's this, man? Tell the Burks. Tell me, man. How we doing, man? Middle of the motherfucking jungle, man. That's where we come from, man. You ain't got no pass. You ain't coming through here, man. That's where we at. Where we going, mom? Yeah, niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Y'all like that? Huh? Y'all like that? Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, okay, okay. Where's the people? Shots, look at the cut. You know what I mean? Bell, we got the barbecue. Oh, we got my daddy in the cut too, man. Please know. I gotta watch them. I was the good guy. Thank you. Thanks, man. Red light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I already told you niggas that this shit was gonna happen. My boy was gonna what? Knock shit out. Knock shit out. We're gonna. Oh, hey, 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 how you looking at you? I told him we were on a plot, man. Ah, <laughs> come on, man. Yeah, yeah. How you looking at you, Bricks? Hey, you know? hey, go right, talk oh, to man, the motherfuckers right there. Listen, when I told y'all, man, y'all go check my gram and all. I told y'all the strap was on the block, man. Yeah. I know what he do. He been doing this, man. Y'all yeah, been doing this. Y'all been doing this. Y'all been doing this for a box. It'll happen. Wait before a box. Oh, man, on. that's what he been doing. He been putting hands on people, man. Like, <laughs> y'all know what he do. And y'all always had the number. I walk like five of them on your block. It be like five to twelve, and they always came out on top, man. You know he always had that. Oh, I mean that's what he do. Oh, in the box, like you know what I mean? You know? Hey, tap him in, tap him in. Come on, tap him. Come on, hurry up. I was, I was trying to tell you, nigga. But it's like we had a little conversation back in the day. Hey, yeah, I mean, he was working there. at, uh, I think, like, right in. Yeah, I was, that's him. Yeah, I mean, and this was in the beginning, like, I used to come to them fights. I used to get in it, damn near with the, the judges and all that, because they used to be robbing my man. You know, I'm not conduct myself in public, so I started chilling, but, you know, I said I could fool in them drinks, so they used to be robbing me, beat niggas all up, they face tore up, nothing wrong with anybody losing. So he was like, man, I'm thinking about going back to work. I'm like, that ain't what we do. Like, we don't quit. Like, it ain't nothing we went through that. We was the niggas quitting, like, just stick it out. Yeah, you know I mean, you got a gift, like, it's gonna come. Like, sometimes niggas' road ain't supposed to be easy because it built character. Like, you don't want the easy shit because then when you get the, the, the adversity at the end, it might break you. So get it in the beginning and you're gonna shine, just keep grinding. Fast forward to now. Everything I told you back then, that shit, right here in the flesh, man, living proof. Like, and he, that's real shit. If he's a lie, I'll tell him. That's my OG, and he telling the whole truth. <laughs> Nothing but the truth, brother. <laughs> hey, listen. I got the truth. Yeah, I, I ain't never been in the gym, but I got that shit too. Like, this is what we do right here. Right in the square. Ain't no, ain't no move, we got scared in the square. That's my, that's my older brother right here. Tell him. You tell him. You know, boxing. You know, we was at Frazier's, Joe Frazier's gym on Glenwood. Started out there. Yeah, you look a champ man, you know what I'm saying? You champ man, that shit. Man, I just want everybody from my city to do good, man. Yeah. I'm take you to the chair, man, shit, bro. You don't, you don't go to fuck the Pats and all that, all that shit. Fuck the landmarks. We in the track. That shit all started. Man.
Not no, no, no landmarks. I like Hey, huh? Oh, That's your shit.